you know, your neighbors knew your family. And say something disrespectful because you're going to get it worse when you get home. Right. You know, um, if you're visiting one friend on the block and they're cooking, you're actually going to be having dinner with them. They will call your mother and say, hey, I'm cooking and Ronnie uh, is going to be here. For, you know what I mean? That's right. that's the way I grew up where it was a village that, that raised we, that raised us. Yeah. To, you know what I mean? And those values are, are pretty much non-existent. You know, I had a pops. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my dad was involved in my life. I had food on the table every night, so that wasn't like, I didn't, you know, I didn't have, I didn't have a struggle with poverty. Um, but losing loved ones, losing the streets, like, yeah. was always shit that was like prevalent in my life. Right. And so it was a balance of like appreciating what I got, um, but also like, also striving for more. But also knowing that because I got this. To me, like, you know, to whom much is given, much is required. Absolutely. So that's why I go so hard and, like, I rep what I rep. Yeah. Because I'm like, bro, I shouldn't I shouldn't be doing nothing else. Yeah. With my pops being around, that type of shit, like, I, I, I knew I couldn't make too many wrong moves. You right, know, so right, I was right, a right. nigga, but, like, if I came yeah, home with a stash. Around, so, you know what I mean? There was that. If I came home with, and he, and he grew up in Compton, bro, so, like, he know everything I'm, I can right. get into. So if I come home with a stash in the backpack, he, he know what, he know what the know pack smell like. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? I can fool moms, but, like, <laughs> I'm on my Peter Parker pulling strings from dreams of streets is watching. They about to see some off shit. I'm on my Peter Parker pulling strings from dreams of Stephen Hawkins. And Dina East breed artists from out the deepest pockets. I'm on my pock shit, the WilsonBlock.net. Riding dirty, LA fitted, hitting all kinds of Hershey. No, I ain't tripping these women, ripping my Brian jersey. What up, pimping? We be pimping her if she nice and pretty. If not, she could get out and walk. I ain't the type to be on a jock if she disrespectful. A dollar piece and it's on to the next. I'm about my dollars and cents. I'm about to hit this industry harder than Nas. At his best, and I ain't dissing Esco. No, that's not what I meant. I got my 501 Street Nikes right out of the box. And fuck a fashionista, Prince Eve, do you man or you not? With your little manicured outfits, matching your hat with your socks. And got the nerve to try to rap about Glocks, addicts, and rocks. Scavenge for props in the hood like you gon' get you some, but you fake. And ain't nobody gon' respect you none. I'll keep going, I'll let my little homies check you some. From your kicks to your chain, empty the clip in your brain. I speak to the ribs in front of your chick, you get slain. And I could give about two shit. They throw that bitch in the lake, pokey low. Love the music, hate the person behind it If there's a problem, well ain't you how to find me Let's go It's gonna be, it's gonna be static for sure Cause what, what the rap audience ain't ready for Is a real person You know what I wanna say, a real N-I-G-G-A I'm coming out, I'm 100% real I ain't compromising with anything Anybody that talk about me got problems You know what I'm saying, it's gonna be straight up Like about a street person, that's how I'm coming at the whole world And I'm being real about it who really pick shit apart and refuse to let this bullshit be considered as art cause it ain't oh no my dude it may be up on the charts but it could never make its way in my car I get in arguments over this music cause half these artists are stupid strip club bangers okay but is that all that you're doing where are you at in your freestyles have you been battling cats practicing unorthodox styles of hand in a mask cause I have my craft immaculate get it in I've been had it and never slept to stash my cash only reason for mattresses I'm in the lab again jacking beats and then smashing them I'll slap a whack rapper before I ever Collab with them, it's me and Bing Fuck your verses, yo, we don't need a thing And fuck your bitches, them bitches look like they need a drink Your flows and hoes gotta come harder than that Come on, dog, thought you was smarter than that kind of has its ups and down moments I think Ice Cube said that one time It has like so many ups and downs in it So at this point of it I've seen so many of the parents who really love it Turn to struggling artists Because they're not benefiting Whereas dudes that ain't got no talent Is benefiting, you know what I'm saying So it's just definitely a period in the crowd, the industry so interested now. Sit on the couch, click my image, try to figure it out. The gray area, I bet them bitches listening now. And if they ain't, then let them hate. I'll just keep pissing them out. And if music is revolution and you all about change, then why are you motherfuckers the same? Answer that, cousins and brothers are hungry. Why you ain't handling that? I guess this money's more addictive than crap. Let's go. Tending for about 12 years. I've been doing it independently for about like 10 years. Okay. Um, I used to work at like Staples Center, Dodger Stadium, uh, The Form. You used to work for them? I used to work for them. Oh, wow. Hey. Yeah. And um, The Form when it was the Great Western? No, uh, like recently. Oh, okay, right on, right on. Yeah, so um, it's 
a company called Levy that does like hospitality, uh-huh. and I would float around to all those locations in season. You right. know what I mean? Whoever was playing, and uh, me getting into bartending and really wanted to like do my own thing. A scenario happened where uh, my manager at Dodger Stadium said that I couldn't bartend at that location because I needed paperwork. Oh, really? So. Just at Dodger Stadium? Just at Dodger Stadium. At Staples Center, every other venue, they were okay. I didn't uh. need no paperwork. I think it was more of a seniority thing. You know what right. I mean? Right. Hold on, well, you, you, you were working for them, though, right? So you weren't enterprise. No. Okay. Strings, despite the drama, there's respect to camaraderie. Every time one of my friends is mentioned in my philosophy, so write a passage. I'm not trying to be corny. I got love for sport and life. Alpha P, Maslana, Henri. Every time somebody steps out on the road, they bring a little Northwest soul with the main man. All right then, just so you know, I try to carry that every time that I rock a show. So turn my sound up, ricochet off our mountain. It's good medicine that she seldom would have been proud of. This is our city, town, pride, heart, blood, sweat, tears, I five, north, south, side, vibe, live, ride down these city blocks. And never will we stop. They're trying to shut down the clubs that my city rocks. Now, Mr. Mayor, why would you enforce an ordinance? Music could save lives. These kids out here are supporting it. And through the art form, we've learned the importance. Of community, truth to the youth, so they know what's up. Yeah. And as a public school student, I learned from my teachers, but became through my music. Take that away, that's vital. 14 fathoms deep, do the math. Tribal, my greatest teachers, be self and Word there was my mayor, and things have changed. But I carry the torch, and what I do with that flame is lit every time that I step on the stage. The skyline is etched in my veins. You can never put that out, no matter how hard it rains. Northwest, making you feel the vibes. So check how Seattle do. Come to my side. I mean, I like how y'all do. Thank you, we on to you. Put it down for the town. With, with music. Make, I'm making you feel the vibes. Check how Seattle do. Come to my side. Where my peeps know my crew bring the flames. flames. Put it down for the town. Wearing that Seattle blue. Shot. When you put in a show and watch the people seeping in between the creases in the doors Hitting the melody or sneaking in cause they're broke Now leaving in between sets because they're needing the smoke The reason be or whatever the scene from Beacon to Ever Is a need a less ego when we kick it alright I get on stage, style, share my whole life Trying to reach them at the bar where they're drinking Miller Lite But the kids in the front, they bring out the passion Dude, make noise throughout the show and not only when we ask them to I watch the older cats shaded in the back Back hands class forgot when they weren't too cool to be a fan. Damn, hating at the concert. You don't remember Rock Candy watching Hyro her wilding out to alcoholics. I know it's not the same, it never will be. But my 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 city's filthy. And we've been truly dope since Supreme was up on Broadway in the Dookie rope. Me mugging this a mix a lot video. Back when Steam was rocking house parties on the floor. JMG sitting spinning the paradox. Back when Mark introduced Geo to Sobs. So much has changed here, so much is not I was just a kid hoping I could earn my spot Trying to get some props, meet a promoter who give me a shot To let me get up on stage and get the crowd to rock Read a page out my notebook, what I thought would be respected They would connect with it Now, looking over the city is the only thing that keeps me calm Scattered thoughts jotted down by this pen in my palm It's like my city stands still, the world looks on If I could only capture its beauty and put it in a song Northwest, making you feel the vibes. So check how Seattle do. Come to my side. I mean, I like how y'all do. Thank you, we on to you. Put it down for the town. We're, we're music. Make, I'm making you feel the vibes. Check how Seattle do. Come to my side. Where my peeps know my crew bring the flames. Put it 
tail for the tail. Wearing that Seattle blue. Oh my, oh my God. That was my cut, dude. That was my cut. That was my that was cut. That was my favorite show of all time. Yeah. Like, that was like, I mean, that was when like I was such a fan of the music and it was the first time I was seen. Before any, before you got jaded in any way, exactly. Shape, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Grown up and changed and developed and become their own people, made their own music. We're just able to make the music that we want to make as an individual and still be a part of our community. You know? Yeah. And we did that good medicine set. It's probably my, my favorite. And then, and then at some point, everybody from the town was on stage. And there's like 5,000 people out in the crowd. It was just like doing it. That was tight. That was tight. Champion wasn't the cool. Right, that was like a pay list. <laughs> yeah, player, you know what I mean. Right, that was a cheap one. You somebody right. champion? Oh, he's broke. Right, right. Oh, like, well, I don't know who's wore it and made it cool, and all of a sudden the price went up. Right. Like, exactly. But there's certain things that these the youngsters are doing now. Like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm doing this. I'm, we did that since. Yeah, we did. We yeah, we did. Done that. I've been wearing champion. Right. Yeah, that part. That part. I mean, you know, I, I've always more or less liked the champion brand. Like, yeah. Listen, I was a kid that. You know, was happy to get a pair of shacks exactly. back in the day at yeah. Kmart. You know what I mean? New. I don't care if they're new. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, look, I remember, listen, no lie, when I was like eight, and, and, and don't laugh at me for this, but I really thought that Payless was the best place to get shoes. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was just a kid. Yeah. I didn't know. That's I, saw, what, I saw the shoes you got. You know what I mean? That's what, that's big bands. Man, <laughs> but they were all nice. They all looked nice to me yeah. and all that. I mean, that's what mom said. I had writer's block and I didn't write nothing. Uh, I didn't write nothing for like four months. How do you deal with writer's block? Uh I don't. I just keep living because I realize exactly. that life is my life is my inspiration. So right. I just gotta keep living until something inspires me to the point of picking the pen back up. Right. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. So I don't get frustrated. Like I used to get really frustrated when I had writer's block. Now yeah. I just realize I just haven't done enough. Right. I haven't lived enough. Like I need right, to get out of this shit. You don't want to go read something or whatever. Yeah. yeah, like yeah. Forcing writer's block is like forcing love. You know what I you mean? Can't you do just, it. it just don't it's not gonna work. Nah, baby. You it's feel gonna me? it's gonna put you in a position where it's just gonna frustrate you. Yes. You know what I mean? You and everything. Everybody else that's depending on some aspect of what it is that you do, right. they are going to be completely fucked up because they can't get that from you. To yeah, yeah. They, you get, sometimes you just gotta walk away from it and come back. Like, yeah, exactly. I used to write yeah. the entire song all at one time. Now I find myself now, I'll start writing a song and I'll step away from it and maybe come back to it a day, sometimes yeah. a week, sometimes a month later. Man, listen.